Pride is more than people dancing on the street. It's still a demo. The fight is not over. Hey book lovers, Felix Kurt coming to you directly from Germany. Thanks so much that you are joining me again on my channel. Let's talk queer books. Today is really, really special to me because I'd like to talk about pride. And also, of course, this being a booktube channel, I'm going to talk about a really great book. It's about history, but it's anything but dull. So stay tuned for this. We are standing on the shoulders of giants. The freedom we have today to be our true selves in the Western countries has been hard fought for by the mothers and fathers of the queer movement. We celebrate this and their achievement during Pride. Um, in June 1969, in a bar called Stonewall Inn in New York City, USA, for the first time in history, queer people stood up against police oppression. This happened in Christopher Street, and that's why the Pride celebrations in Germany, just so you know, are called CSD, short for Christopher Street Day. But really, what happened? And who was there? And how did the people feel? Well, this is what the book I'm going to talk about today is diving deeply into. Martin Duberman's book lets us dive deeply into the six life stories of different people who come from different backgrounds, including a black lesbian woman and a street hustler and transvestite. He doesn't claim to show all of the experiences of the queer community at the time, but he smartly picked out six people and describes their whole life. So he doesn't only show uh, what was like uh, during the riots, but also he shows what led up to the riots as well. So by seeing their life, you can feel uh, what happened in society before Stonewall, during Stonewall, and also afterwards. Well, I tried my hardest, but I just couldn't find anything negative to say about this book. So either you like a lively history lesson, then you pick this one up, or you don't, then you pass. Of course, you could always watch a documentary about Stonewall, but for me, the experience of reading this book was on a different level completely. It made me feel what the characters or the real people actually uh, felt. It showed how they were brought up, what the family background was, and uh, it touched me on such a deep emotional level because I felt connected with them uh, in with each and every one of them because I felt touched by their need, their strong need to stand up and be themselves. And uh, that gave them like a rise in power and in strength that is just beautiful to observe and uh, to kind of feel with them. I strongly suggest you to pick this up. The one thing that I enjoyed is also that it doesn't only talk about the people, but there's a lot of pictures in here that uh, show everybody and also uh, show the riots because what happened is uh, that in 1970, in June, the first ever Gay Liberation March, so the demo, took place in New York City. And this spread all through the world. And actually in 1970, a really, really, really small 
first march was done in Germany as well. So this has really had an impact and this is what Pride is all about. We are on a demonstration. We are marching for acceptance and for people's rights. So pick this up and learn about history in a fun way. What does Pride mean to you? Let me know in the comments and let's use my channel to start a community of open-minded book lovers who love to talk and communicate. Uh, and also, I just want to remind you that the fight is not over because there are so many countries where being queer is still illegal and people are still killed because of what they are. And being queer never is a choice. So on the serious note, let me say goodbye to you now, Felix Kurt from Germany and stay bookish and celebrate a very happy pride.